Hi everybody, this is Empty Cameras. My name is Scott, and welcome to the ninth. Yes, I I guess this was the ninth ninth episode of Subnautica. Um, last episode we did a lot of reading and other things, but uh, this episode we're going to do more reading. So uh, let's see, we've got some blueprints over here. Not really important. Da -da 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 -da. So. Should be gone right now. Oh, this is so annoying. Yes, it's gone. Yeah. Right. Uh, voice lock. A terror crew. This oh, yeah, I already read that one. Uh, Lifebot 17 crew lock. Um, Lifebot made plan for intact approximately one hour ago. Oh, Jesus. That's really close. So, that was a life. Um, a life. Uh, God damn it. Transmission to us. Because they told us, help us, help us. And it was one hour ago. Should. Could be true. Environmental instruments were knocked offline when the Aurora Seamoth Bay collapsed around me. I can make out shadows shifting about in the water below me every so often the pod is rocked by some kind of collision i can't tell whether it's bumping up against the rocks or if there's something out there that's trying to get in either way the hull is beginning to buckle but the aurora is over there so maybe that leviathan thing was trying to bite his way through and then it shoved all the way over there i can't see what's left the aurora from the top hatch we were carrying anything and everything we might need to complete the phase gate mobile vehicle base, bioreactors, propulsionists that is um, explaining why all those bioreactors were over there but what's a propulsion can? Um, I'm going to go out there and scavenge whatever I can find see if I can reinforce the lifebot hull ah, the Gazi crew manifest Margaret Maida oh this is oh yeah this is uh Pretty fun. Alright, the guys are crew manifest Margaret made now. Ex auxiliary search and rescue mission Margaret Maida. Position of freelance security personnel. Status lost in space near planet 4546B. Age at time of disappearance 42. Mercenary born in a Mongolian state. Experience in ship to ship and close quarters combat techniques. Tools of duty with the Mongolian Defense Force and the Trans System Federation. Dishonorably discharged from the TSF 15 years ago. Going off mission. Details classified. A missionary case uh, reports made that was hired to accompany Paul Togo on board the Degasi into uncharted space and defend the ship in case of assault by pirates of rival corporations. Right? Operation logs. That's a new one. Structural analysis scatter scattered wreckage. Analysis confirms this wreckage is from the Aurora, that big thing we found over there. Outer layers of the materials have oxidized, suggesting it was being heated to over 200,000 Celsius. Jesus. Um, this pattern is consistent with hull disintegration during atmospheric entry. Inner layers contain enough residual titanium to be reclaimed at the fabricator. Gas apart. So I'm not going to read this one. Or oh, I'm M. Look, so you can guys see it. It's just some stupid fish who is really annoying with its gaso clouds. Ah, uh, the little floodlight. I'm not going to read this. Oh, yeah, man. Well, I understand. Issue floodlight is battery powered and designed to focus a bright beam of light in a single direction, useful in all kind of industrial and emergency operations functional in all known environments the battery is replaceable nice power bioreactor on planets where organic matter is plentiful but sunlight is not a reliable bioreactor will frequently prove the most efficient power solution the power bioreactor totally organic may be installed in any multipurpose Purpose room, habitat room, chemically composed organic materials, converting them into energy over time. So you can just put living fish inside, alright. Accepts all plant matter from seeds and spores to moldy fruits and vegetables. Can also process animal matter, fat muscle, eggs, etc., and some organic waste projects. Yes. Energy production is appropriate to the calories in the organic matter. Vehicles. Sea moth. 
So this is a new thing. The C1 is a one-person vehicle with an independent replaceable power cell and a fully customizable design. Low power, multi-directional thrusters enable it to function equally well in sea or space environments. Most long-range vessels carry at least two vehicles of this class to facilitate the exploration and exploitation of small astronomical bodies. The C mark, it goes anywhere but land. Rating, stop speed 30 meters per second, acceleration 5 meters per second per second, distance power cell 10 kilometers, crush depth 200 meter below sea level, upgrade module slots 4 dimensions 3 meters by 1.5 meters by 1 meter, person 1. C mark may be modified by installing upgrade modules to access point mount to the upper left wing. These include increased cargo storage, nice, superior power, nice, pressure and collision compensation so you can go deeper, nice, enhanced sonar, that's even nicer, defensive capabilities, capabilities so we can get that reaper. And we, these modules may only be manufactured in a moon pool outfitted with a vehicle modification steam stick. I want a moon pool. I hear everywhere the word moon pool. <laughs> and we've I've got a big one over there, but I bet it's not functioning because it's alien. So um, what am I doing? Hi Stalker. Uh alright, so that was the reading for this episode. Whoop. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you, mother. Uh let's take out these sink because I don't need them anymore. I already been to these places, so I'm going to take them out. Yeah. Take one of this. You can go over there. You can go over there. You can go over there. You can over there. Uh, locker. Get some titanium. Get way too much titanium. Uh, get some lead and get some titanium because I don't want this into my pocket. Oh, it fits exactly, and I've still got these two. But let's get to the real things. All right, floodlight not important. Fire reactor not important. We've got solar panels, interior modules, battery charger. That's what we want. Pure chip, copper wire, glass, titanium. Still, all right. And this is not important at all. So this episode. First going to drink something because I'm dehydrating again. And then I'm going to gather some copper and those things and you see a speed up version of that. And then we're going to build some things because we really need a fabricator in here and a battery charger would be nice. Medical kit fabricator isn't that important. And uh, yeah, we'll see how we're going to do that. So uh, Caution. Dehydration detected. Oh shit, I was just talking about that. So let's do that right now. Oh, the battery of this thing is getting out of power real soon too. Ugh. Now you're going to be my food because the people won't listen. You look nice too, I want you to be my other food. fish. My first one! Titanium, sick. My second one! Copper! Yeah. Yay, more copper! So. Hey! Eh? Alright, that was weird. Take this. Oh, I'm so thirsty. Vital signs stabilizing. Oh, I'm literally. Oh, I'm go just going to take everything. Alright. So I'm all healed up again. And let's get back into finding copper. The one I need. Fuck you. Are you the one? Yes, you are. Nice. Got you seconds. over there. Eh. Yes, Kappa! It's like really hard to find these limestone chunks. I, but I finally copper, and then you still have a chance getting a titanium or uh, some useless shit is left. No titanium. Hmm, this is a good spot actually. I've already found three of them. Hmm. But it's really difficult to find them. I don't know why. 
You be the one? No, you're not the one. You be the one. Yes, you are. Nice. I think I just found a really good spot because there's a lot of limestone around here. Yes, another copper. Yes, another copper. And it's a copper spot too. Oh no. Oxygen. I shouldn't have said that. Oh. Damn. When you have this huge tank of oxygen, you just forget the time sometimes. So there's a lot of titanium around or limestone chunks around here. I wonder where this is. No. Why stalker? Oh, this is a huge coral tube. It's going to completely... Oh shit. I can only take one more. And it's led to do. So how much copper do we... Oh, we've got plenty of copper. Let's go home. So where are we? Cells are nice fabricated over It just worked. Why does it work anymore? <laughs> Where would you this to be? It just worked. Oh. I, I should have made it. Oh no, this is a horrible, 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 horrible place. I'm going to build it in here. Let's build it over. Yeah. yeah, I think this is a nice place. We'll build it over here. So we have our own fabricator. Finally. Battery charger. We need glass. We have glass, luckily. Glass! Oh shit. So let's build ourselves a nice battery charger. Boom. Whoop. Nice. Alright, so let's take out this battery source. Uh, let's take out this one. Sorry. Alright, so I've got a battery over here. I've got a battery over here. Oh, sorry. Uh, I've got another one over here, right? Yes, I've got another one over here. Oh, sh shit, why? I keep doing that. And I put that one in here. Equip. Nice! So now it is charging. Nice. It's way better. Um, so what can we do? Uh, we don't really need this or this. Um, let's just make another well locker. And let's take out this. Put this inside here. Now take all of this out. Put it in 
this side here. Uh, move this, put it in there, yes. Get in this locker, take out all of the quads, put in titanium, take out a titanium ingot, put in more titanium, and in this one we're going to put more titanium, more of that, and this is fabricated stuff, so let's just put the titanium ingots over here. And now we've organized all of our stuff, and these are pro charging pretty quickly. So what to do now? We've done a lot, actually. Um, let's see if the fabricator has nice plans. So we can expand a nice little home, but I don't feel like it. We've got uh, plenty of stuff right now. Um, yeah, not going. I don't think we're going to need the fabricator now. So let's just put the battery inside. Yeah, and let's put the fabricator right here, and this one right here too. And then let's just create some titanium because we've got plenty of. I put this in here. Done. All right. So everybody has been cleared up right now. Uh, what are we going to do next? Um, we could make... Yeah, I think that's a pretty nice idea. Um, let's build ourselves... I just got it's not possible. A stasis rifle. Yes. We need a battery. Um, we're going to make a new one. We need titanium and an advanced wiring kit. Let's take a look. We do have... Alright, for that one you need a computer chip, a computer typical or sample, and gold. Alright, so we've got a copper wire. Oh, sorry. Da, 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 da. Let's get outside. Let's get to a nice little supply. Table core or sample. Table core or sample. Alright, so let's get back inside. Done. Um, need three times gold. We've Got just enough. Just the fabricator. Let's get the electronics. Make power computer chip. Build an advanced wiring kit. Oh, nice. Battery, acid, mushroom, and copper, to copper ore times one. So, one copper ore, need two acid mushrooms. Got a supply of that too. One, two. Nice. So let's make a new battery. Battery. Uh, and a personal tool. Stitch up. Oh, I need a titanium. Eh. Alright, alright, alright. Stasis rifle. Oh, nice. Oh, that's so cool. So let's see what this bad boy can do. I'm going to shoot that bladder fish. Oh, that's so cool. Motivational note. Greg McKill, McKill crash landed in the acid swamps of Boreal 9 and fouled off arachnid kidney poachers. Oh, before hijacking a tame throttle hard. And riding it to safety. If he can do all that, you can survive one more day. Nice. Alright, so what did it do? Can I get it? It, it really does. So it is slowing time. It makes, this makes fishing so much easier. And it said that I could charge it, right? To wait. Stalker! Oh, that's so cool! Ah, now I can easily scan or kill it. That's so cool! I'm going to keep this with me all the time because this is going to be one of my most important tools. So, that's really, really nice. Welcome aboard, oh, Captain. I just saw the. So, it does last longer when you charge it longer. Oh, it's almost done. 
So that is a really nice toy, and I'm going to keep it because that's just really cool. Uh, what a wait just a second. Do we've got yes we've got, do we've got salt? Yes, one more time. Nice. All right, then we'll rid of that table coral sample. Uh, that coral sample too. So let's make some bleach. A lot of creating this episode. But I don't really mind uh, more disinfected water. So uh, let's eat something. Let's take a drink. So that's way better. Uh, we've got a stasis rifle. Nice. Alright. Um, let's see what we can build more. Stasis rifle, laser gun. We don't have a diamond. Flare, we don't need flares. A bladder. Alright, silicone rubber and a bladder fish. We've got silicone rubber. No. Uh, so we're going to get some creep fine, which we also have provided. So this is the best base ever. It's close to everything. This is um, cutting it is for fiber mesh, right? And I need a fiber. This. So I need the seed duster clusters. So some seed clusters and a bladder fish. Let's go hunt a bladder fish. Oh, wait, are you chasing me? <laughs> Idiot. Oh, this is such a nice. I can catch peepers now. Gotcha, bitch. Oh, that's so nice. It is using a lot of power, but I've got a battery charge here and it's charged by solar energy. So, I don't really see them. I can stun crash fishes and scan them. That would be good too. Alright, so bladder fishes. Thank you. This is the best thing ever. Well, that went into the abyss. That, that wasn't a really uh, successful shot. I'm going to shoot my base. Oh, I didn't even lose it. Oh, wait a second. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that's so... Oh, I like this thing. Ah! Nice. 100%. 100%. So, let's... Place the battery real quick. Uh, put this battery in here. And let's give my C light. That was the thing stopping right all right so i don't know what i was going to make fiber mesh right yes uh, no silicone rubber that was what i was going to make so i've got plenty of silicone rubber right now uh what did i want to make oh yeah an air bladder i don't know what it does that's i don't know so let's cook a peeper because we're hungry. And let's test this air bladder. Okay, I can equip it. So what do you do? Oh, it's such a cute thing. Right, my... Oh! Yeah, right, my... That is so cool! So now... I can just swim to the bottom with my sea glide and get up way faster. Right? Wait, we're going to do a little test. Alright, so. Three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six fast seconds. Alright, so let's get back to the bottom. Three, two, one, one, two, three, four. So this is faster, but this is not taking any energy. So I can use this when I'm not in a hurry, in, in, in a hurry, or when my C uh, glide doesn't have any power anymore. This is so cool. 
That's such a nice animation too. I'm going to keep that thing too. That's really nice and it isn't that big. Oh, that safe rifle is though. Alright, so I did read this one. So, next episode, we're going to make the other things. Damn, I like this game so much. There's so much new things to explore. Alright. So, let's put in the silicone rubber. We don't need it anymore. Let's take out all the batteries. Last thing we're going to do. Bam, bam, bam. Let's recharge everything. Um, oh, shit. Yeah, take a power source. Uh, no, that's not what I wanted. I want the Habitat Builder. Side to slot. Oh, shit, that's not what I wanted. And my scanner needs to be a battery. Oh, that's so nice. So, we've got everything set for the next episode. We've got a lot of tools right now, and these tools are really nice. Oh, I just watched it. God damn it. Thank you. Oh, it's day 26 already. So, um, that was it for this episode, guys. I hope you guys all liked it. It was really fun. We found this cool thing. Now it isn't doing anything. It's just funny. You've got a balloon. Oh, that, that isn't correct, mate. Anyways, and we've got this awesome thing. So, we're ready for an assault and we're ready to explore. And I'm really excited to go to the deeper. Um, I don't have the word anymore. Give me just a second. Alright, so, I was right. Areas. We can go to deeper areas slash regions right now uh, with these nice tools. We've got battery chargers, so we're all fixed up. And I'm really excited to go into the next episode. So I hope you guys all liked it. Leave a like, subscribe, leave in the comments down below if you have any advice or whatever. I don't care, just put it in the comments down below. Um, yeah, have a nice day, you guys. Bye bye.